Why travel to New York when you have the Square in Boulevard? Welcome to the vibrant heart and the capital of Saudi Arabia. From historic landmarks to futuristic skyscrapers, this city offers an unforgettable travel experience. So let's get on an adventure through the bustling souks, streets and the ever-changing landscape. Welcome to Riyadh in Saudi Arabia. Just over a hundred years ago, Riyadh was a town of under 20,000 people surrounded by palm groves, fertile wadis and a number of small villages. In 1932, Riyadh was announced as the capital of Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and since then, the city has seen a rapid growth with impressive skyscrapers and world-class amenities. Riyadh is not only the economic and cultural centre of Saudi but is also home to Middle East's best football clubs. Yes, you guessed it right, I'm talking about Ronaldo famed Al Nasser or Neymar famed Al Hilal club. My friends back home have asked for something so what better than gifting them some official goodies. Yalla! One of the best ways to experience the pulse of the New Age Riyadh is definitely by visiting Boulevard. From multi-high end stores to shop from and restaurants to eat at, Boulevard is one-stop shop for entertainment. They've created huge spaces for people to chill at like open air theatres, music arenas and even games where it gets really competitive. Well, this is what dreams are made of. There is so much happening here. The vibe at the boulevard is very energetic. Every corner here is adorned with dazzling billboards, bright neon lights and bustling vibes. So if you ever come to Boulevard, there is absolutely no chance that you're going to get bored. Also, don't miss out on the Musical Fountain, also known as the Dancing Fountain Boulevard, which has got such a fun vibe and is the best way to spend time with family and friends. explore the historic district, UNESCO World Heritage Site and the birthplace of Saudi Diriyah, which is only 20 kilometers away from the city centre. Wow, this place is a powerhouse of culture. The historic area of Riyadh, Diriyah, is the original home of the first Saudi family and in fact is the first capital of first Saudi state. The entire area is filled with traditional mud brick buildings, it's got cultural landmarks and a lot of places of historic significance. The architecture of Salva Palace is a blend of Najdi and Islamic architectural styles. This style reflects the traditional architecture of the region. The winding laneways and the authentic Najdi architecture of Ad-Turaif 
is being sensitively restored to keep the history and the beauty of the region alive. In the same vicinity is the Bujeri Terrace, where you will see a perfect amalgamation of modernity and tradition. Well, this neighborhood is filled with local and international restaurants, but what I have on my mind is a traditional Saudi dish, lamb kapsa. So let's go and try it out. I am now at the 150-year-old Al Masmak Palace, which has silently witnessed the greatest events in the foundation of Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. The fortress stands as a symbol of the unification of Saudi Arabia, as it was here where the historic battle was fought, which brought the House of Saud back to power and paved the way for modern-day Saudi Arabia. The palace is a clay and mud brick fort which was originally used as a base for the military but now has been converted into a museum displaying different historical artifacts. The palace today stands as a symbol of the history of regaining power and rule of the country. Also, don't miss out on King Abdul Aziz Historic Center which is the National Museum of Saudi Arabia. The museum is famous for its architecture and the design is inspired by the structure and shades of the red sands found in Riyadh. If you wish to get a sneak peek into the authentic traditional Saudi cuisine and the way of life, there is no better place than Nast Village Restaurant for that. they say to know a place the best it's always good to indulge in local cuisine and Natched village in Riyadh actually gives you a glimpse into the Saudi lifestyle as well as Arabic cuisine what I'm having here right now is chicken makloba which is rice mixed with meat as well as some vegetables and it tastes absolutely delicious I'm pairing it up with some cheese samosa absolutely delicious the joy of eating with hands is unmatched. In Saudi Arabian culture, it is common to sit on the floor and share food while eating with your hands. While the city has kept its culture and heritage intact, it is also steadily heading towards modernization and urban development. Riyadh is known for its futuristic skyscrapers and two such gems are the Al Fasela Tower which was the first ever skyscraper to be built in Riyadh and of course the Kingdom Centre which is known for its sky bridge and I've heard that famous football player Ronaldo comes and stays here at Four Seasons every time he's in town. Am I right? Let me know in comments below. Now, for the most awaited part in the city, shopping. I'm exploring the souks in Dera and definitely don't forget to bargain here. If you want to indulge in some local shopping, there is no better place than Dera Souk near the Al Masmak Fort. You find everything here from local clothing to gold, souvenirs, silver, jewellery everything under one roof. I am now at 
Al Jawara Al Bakhtain Grand Mosque, which is known for its impressive architecture and grand design. It is easily recognized by its minarets that stand tall against the Riyadh skyline. I have truly experienced so much in Riyadh, from learning about Saudi's history in Diriyah to enjoying my heart out in Boulevard. Riyadh truly is a melting pot of culture and heritage. So if you live in the Gulf, wouldn't it be better to discover the treasures of your own backyard rather than chasing distant horizons? So book your tickets to Riyadh right away and remember to subscribe to Curry Tales Middle East. Until next time, it's me Kamya Jani signing off.